Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Eric Abroad with the Eric Abroad cast for June 22nd, 2017 on a Thursday. Uh, this is podcast number 17. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, before we start the podcast, I first want to give a few different shout outs to the sponsors and supporters of our channel. So just bear with me here. Uh, I first want to give a shout out to the sponsor italki.com italki.com is a great website for anyone who is learning a language. If you need a tutor or need someone to speak with directly um, on a convenient schedule, something that's a little bit flexible, check out italki.com in the description below. I have a link. If you've never tried it before, it will get you $10 credit added to your account if you sign up. Uh, unfortunately, as I'm plugging this, it is a service that I personally have not tried yet. And every week I say, oh, I'm going to try it next week, and I haven't. I simply have been busy. Uh, we're going to be talking about that today, leading up to my uh, college graduation, which happened over this weekend. So let's get, uh, let's see, where's my studio clap? Yay. Uh, I'm excited, so congrats to anyone else who's graduating. But italki.com uh, forward slash Eric Abroad. Be sure to check them out. And I will be checking them out in the next few weeks, I promise. They've uh, given me some credit to try it out. Uh, simply just, it hasn't been on my priority list, but they are sponsoring the channel, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, so check them out, italki.com forward slash Eric Abroad. I also have to give another shout out really quick. Don't want to spend too much time on this and bore all of you, but to the super supporters, uh, in air quotes, the official super supporters of the Eric Abroad channel. Uh, the numbers have been going up. For those who don't know, I've made, I've made a Patreon page lately that uh, is a way for you guys uh, if you're interested in helping support the channel directly uh, by paying for my next coffee or, or what say you. Um, we have six individuals that have really been showing a lot of support this month, and I just wanted to highlight their names here. Uh, and especially, and this isn't to include the or to uh, exclude the two on the bottom here, but to anyone, I always say if, if anyone donates in the highest of tiers, uh, which I think is just a little bit insane, um, and some people have even donated past that amount, which is just ridiculous, um, I will read their names aloud for any video. So I want to give the huge shout out to Kirsten, to Paul, to Jacob, and to G. I don't know G's real name, but G knows, you know who you are, everyone knows who you are, um, but really thank you to all of you guys, and thank you to anyone on Patreon, even in the lower tiers, of course, um, this is just one of the perks of one of the higher tiers, so I want to give that shout out, but even just in the last couple of weeks, it's it's growing, and maybe this list will be pretty big, so um, I, I don't want to milk too much or uh, promote too much stuff there, but I really want to thank you guys for the support as uh, we get closer to Japan. Um, it's going to really help me out and uh, ma help us make some good videos. So uh, speaking of new videos, I want to thank you guys for checking out. Uh, it's been a while since I posted like an actual Eric Abroad travel video, and we posted one this week. Uh, it was actually, so I have a little funny story uh, behind it. If you, if you haven't seen it yet, it's the, or if you're new to my channel, if you go uh, to my videos, it's labeled, I think it's called uh, taking the night bus, taking a Japanese night bus to a traditional Japanese hotel or taking the night bus, something like that. Taking a night bus to a traditional Japanese hotel. Uh, I explained it in that video, so I won't do it too much here, but essentially, um, as you guys know, I studied abroad a few years ago, um, and at the time that I'm recording this right now, I'm not back in Japan yet, but we will, we will be soon. Uh, but while I was there, I recorded a lot of footage, and looking back, or at the time I'd record it, I'm like, oh, this will make a great video. Uh, you know, there's different circumstances where sometimes maybe I look at the footage and it just didn't turn out that great, or maybe I just thought it was enough for a video and I watch it and I'm like, maybe there's not enough here to make a whole video about. So it kind of sits idle, and that's true for a few videos that I have. Um, but a lot of the stuff I did, um, I can do again when I go back with better equipment and better cameras. So that's kind of what I'm intending. Uh, but for the for now, you know, for the time being, while I'm waiting, um, we're gonna talk about it a little bit more, a little bit more news. Uh, not like crazy, but uh, this podcast, I'll hopefully try to keep it short for you guys. As again, I'm I'm not back in Japan yet, but I'm just giving you guys an update on kind of uh, what's going on on my end in my life. If anyone's actually interested, and um, I, just a little bit into like my channel and just you know my personal life and stuff like that, um, leading up for me getting to Japan, I'm really excited, and I have a little bit of news for that. But first, yeah, a little story. So. Um, that video was actually originally when you saw the footage of the night bus you'll see I, take, I basically take a night bus to Tokyo which happened um, but originally I had recorded uh, that to be kind of its own video I had the intention like oh I'm riding this night bus it's so cool I was getting shots I go checked out I checked out the bathroom I went into the convenience store although not all the footage was like the best and that's partly why I didn't really upload it at first um, it just wasn't enough to make a full video in my opinion. I didn't know how I could make it into like a five minute plus video or something even smaller and still juicy. It was just not enough. But when I was making a video about going to Tokyo to visit my friends from Osaka, 
um, I was able to just put them together and I thought it worked out uh, better that way I apologize for that noise by the way that may happen every 45 minutes uh, I just gonna have to bear with it it's my temporary housing in my parents garage it, it annoys me as much as it's gonna annoy your ears I hope it's not too ear piercing but uh brace yourselves <laughs> maybe turn down the volume just a couple decibels but um yes so I uploaded the first part and to anyone who checked it out thank you very much part two will hopefully be up by the end of this month. I plan on having it up at the end of this month. So again, for any super supporters, if you uh, have donated for this month, you will get on that video as well. Any podcast or anything that come out. So um, yes, so I decided uh, going, going through that editing process honestly took a lot longer than, maybe not a lot longer, but it definitely took, I think, longer than what my, my normal pro process is. My videos already, I like to maybe spend too much time on them where I, I'll spend like three or four entire days editing. Uh, you know, because I'm uh, primarily a lot of the footage I, I, I've shot up into this point isn't me like with a script in a storyboard and I go out and like, okay, we'll, we'll cut to this shot and then we need this establishing shot and then we'll cut to this and that's it. Because then if you shoot that way and you have it organized, you can just plug them in and create your story that's, you already created your story before you even went and shot it. Uh, a lot of this footage was raw. I'd go out just with the camera to some new place and react. So when you look at that kind of footage, you could imagine there's a lot of different like, maybe like, oh, something funny happened here. Uh, but something else fu happened funny here and you kind of have to pick one, you know, and you have to uh, take what was originally an hour and a half of just raw footage and make it into like a 10 minute juicier story, you know, that's hopefully interesting. And um, when I was able to combine those two videos together, I thought it'd be good. Maybe I can just make it a two parter. So we posted part one. I hope to have part two up soon. So look forward to that. But again, um, I, I, I admit even at the beginning of that video, it's, it's footage that I, I originally wasn't even, I wanted to share because I thought it, like, as a memory, uh, you know, doing the night bus and going with my friends to this traditional hotel where there was like no one in the town. It was almost like this ghost town thing. For me, it was a great memory um, and I wanted to share it, but I just wasn't sure if the video was really good enough. So uh, it's a little bit different and a little bit, uh, it took a little bit longer just with the amount of footage that there was. And I, I had edited one version of the video and thought it wasn't good enough. So I split it into two went back and grabbed more footage and then put the bus one in. It was just, it was a process. And the funny story behind it is that I really wanted to get it done before my graduation, which was last Sunday on the 18th. Um, you know, I was looking for, you know, some people get really stoked for the graduation and all that stuff. And yeah, I'm excited to graduate and in order to get to Japan, but for the graduation ceremony itself, I did not want to go. And you know, that sound, what, however, I just, I personally, those kinds of events, it's like, you know, I gave the school a lot of money. I, I went to classes. I worked really hard. And yes, I got my degree. I don't, I mean, I, some people want to celebrate, but my idea of celebrating is like, yeah, put on the cap and gown, take some photos with the diploma and stuff with your parents, but at my house maybe, or go to like a restaurant and like where you're not waiting and stuff. Like we bet, you know, you can imagine it's like any graduation event where it's like, you just go and it's thousands of people and you just stand there and they read a name and you walk through and it's, Although you're like, yeah, you're celebrating. It's like, I don't know any of these people. I mean, although I went to school there, the students change so much. It's not like high school where it's like, we did this together and we've known each other for four years. It's kind of just this random mess, at least in my experience. So I wasn't really thrilled on going, but my parents wanted to go. And you know, um, I, I actually am in my family, like the first like student to graduate with a bachelor. So I understood my mom was like, I want to see you go. I want to take photos and stuff. I'm like, okay, it was, it was miserable, but I knew that because it was going to be so slow and boring, I could show up really tired if I wanted to. Like I wasn't like necessarily needing like beauty sleep or anything before I showed up to this thing. Right. So, uh, I kind of made it, I wanted to get that video uploaded and kind of done. Honestly, this is, this is a little, it may be embarrassing, but honestly, I wanted to upload it and get it done so that during the ceremony, I could spend time reading comments and replying to them on my phone in the back. Cause I was actually, uh, placed kind of in the back, like our, uh, I was a world languages major in Japanese. So all of the world languages students like French and all these other, I've never met any of these under other individuals. I knew some Japanese students, but we weren't necessarily great friends or anything, but yeah, we were all just kind of on our phones, either watching YouTube and like, cause it was that long of an event. You're just waiting. So there was nothing really to do after the first 10 minutes of cheering. Um, so yeah, I spent the time reading your guys' comments, which was fun. And luckily I finished it. But the funny thing is that, like I said, that that edit took so long, uh, that I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stay up all night, no matter how long it takes. We actually, we did a live stream that night. 
which okay i'm going on another tangent here i'll, I'll go back to the the graduation but uh we did a live stream for patreon which was again the patreon is a new thing and uh we've started a new thing on the erica broadcast where once a month i'm going to be doing a live q a which a lot of other streamers do i know there's other j vloggers that do it as well and i think it's a great idea it's a great i love doing the live q a um and usually i actually do one already like this format with a podcast for free um, but as we've been busy, I'm like, hey, let's do one with the Patreon for now. And from time to time in the future, I'm sure we'll do some more free ones, of course. Uh, but I wanted to do one a little bit special for people that are supporting me on those lower tiers in Patreon because I, I really appreciate it. Uh, and I need the money, to be honest. <laughs> um, but when I uh, when we tried to do the live stream, there were some issues with the link. I couldn't necessarily get the... I thought I had it. I have no excuse, really. But I really, I really thought I had it set up before we started. So I was like, okay, I got the link here. I'll post it on the Patreon, and we'll just start. And whoever shows up, shows up. If people don't, uh, I'll post it to Patreon, and they can check it out, uh, you know, later. Um, but unfortunately, the link wasn't working with YouTube. I, I actually found the issue. I, I had to do a little bit more research. And when you're live streaming, if you click on this events tab, you can then get the link. If, if I'm wrong, please confirm me on that. But I, I checked it out and I tried it and it seemed to work. So uh, next time, and I may even do another charity one. I don't know, maybe not this month. But anyways, I'll probably do another live stream just for fun or something just to make up for that. Because it was kind of, I basically made it public without posting on Twitter or anything. I just made it public um, telling the people on Patreon, like, hey, just go to the live one. It's public now. There'll be more people. But I'll try to focus on you guys if you guys specifically have questions. So it was kind of a mess on my end, and I apologize. But again, it's a learning process, and uh, people that are supporting me, wiping off a little sweat here, apologize. Uh, those who are supporting right now uh, probably already know that you're supporting uh, early in the Erica Broad channel because, be, uh, you know, I, I've been posting some videos, but we're not back yet. So. Again, thank you guys for your patience on as we're getting back. Let's talk about the graduation, and then I'll discuss uh, a little bit more information about my immigration process getting into Japan, because I'm pretty excited. Um, the wheels are in motion. So back to the graduation. I'm reading your comments and having a great time. They call my name at the very end, which is, I guess it worked out. I basically kind of just snoozed. Oh, I didn't mention. I stayed up. I wanted to stay up all night. Sorry. I When I do these podcasts, I'm all over the place. <laughs> as always and uh so before the i wanted to get the video done before graduation right let's backtrack and uh i i did the live stream which was kind of a mess and i was like hey i'm gonna stay up all night after this uh finishing this edit i really want to get it done and thank you guys for the support blah 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 so the second i finished that i posted it i you know everything i had to do got some water and i started editing from i think it was probably 8 p.m which I thought I'd maybe be up to like three, four at the latest, you know, that's not that crazy. It's a little late, but, or it's, you know, it's a little late, but, um, whatever. I don't think I ended up falling asleep until nine in the morning. <laughs> so you can imagine I went from 8 PM till 9 AM. So what is that? 13 hours. That was a 13 hours. And I, I, I kid, I'm not kidding. I didn't stop. Like maybe six hours in, I went and took a shower or like, uh, got some food and then came back. But yeah, it was it was a hardcore edit, and I wanted to get it done, and we did. I slept for about three hours and went to the graduation. I felt miserable for the first hour. I felt pretty good, but when it, when they started reading the names, I, it, it hit me like a rock. And we came back to the house um, and had the what I consider the true graduation kind of celebration party is having a beer with your family. We had some good barbecue, hanging out in the backyard with the dog. It was good, really good weather. Um, and I just I had an ice. I remember I had an iced coffee, a beer, and a tall glass of water, and I was just like hitting all three like kind of wake up kind of relax and kind of stay hydrated and i had a great time that was really fun so um but one last little shout out this is hilarious if you guys saw on twitter as i was leaving the event and this is not i mean i'm not making this up i mean it'd be pretty sad if i did right this is the first time this has happened to me on the erica broad channel uh where uh we got recognized <laughs> we got recognized in public it was super cool and it, you know it might it might sound like I'm bragging, I, but I am a little. I'm, I was stoked. It made it made my day, if not my whole weekend. So uh, I don't know the guy's name. I didn't catch his name. Uh, but as I was leaving the event, like I said, uh, I was in the very back. So they called my name pretty much last. I got my. They don't even give you your diploma. They just give you the case. I'm picking up my diploma uh, tomorrow, and uh, I, I'm walking just so you can take photos. It says Portland State University, which is my college, and you can pose and stuff. And I sit down, and about five minutes after that, uh, they're like, "Okay, thank you all for coming." The event's over. And so we're in the back and we're able to just get out of there, right? And as I'm leaving, some guy, I hear him, he kind of goes like, excuse me. And I was like, what? And it's this security guard. I'm like, oh shit, what happened? Like, you know, you know, maybe I didn't feel like that, but you know, when you see security, you're thinking like, well, what did I do? I said, excuse me. He's like, come here for a sec. I'm like, yeah. Not like, a, he wasn't, he wasn't aggressive. That might have sound aggressive, but he's like, hey, can, you, like, can I ask you something? I'm like, yeah, sure. And he goes, hey, uh, you, are you, uh, are you a YouTube guy? <laughs> and I go, 
uh, yeah, what do you mean? Like, uh, I have, yeah, why? And he's like, are you Eric Abroad? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, hell yes. Uh, yeah, I'm Eric Abroad. Uh, you know, and he's like, hey, man, like, I went to Japan, you know, I can't, I think he said, like, he went, like, last year or earlier this year, I forget, but he, he's like, yeah, when I went to Japan, I needed to learn some stuff, and I found your channel, and I, I, I totally support it. Thank, you know, keep up the good work, man. I, I'm glad I recognize you. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, man, for sure. I gave him a high five or, you know, some knuckles or something. I'm like, have a good night. You know, I was stoked. I was really happy. So shout out if, if you happen to be listening, uh, individual. I didn't get your name, but he was a security guy at the uh, the event that I went to for my uh, graduation. And I, that made my weekend. I was super stoked. That was really cool. I told my, of course, I, I told my parents, I'm like, yeah, you wouldn't believe like they, they recognize me. My dad thought it was like, the, they think it's like cool. They're like, oh, they're like, I just heard him the other day. He was like on the t- on the phone with my grandma. I'm like, oh, they he got recognized. Like it's some big thing. But, you know. Is my parents just being kind of goofy and like proud of their son or whatever? But yeah, shout out to you because that was cool. And I posted that on Twitter and I got a bunch of likes, so that's hilarious. But yes, we graduated. Um, but I didn't have my diploma yet, which was kind of frustrating. I was a little nervous because uh, my next step in again, I'm in the middle of my visa processing as at the time that I'm uploading this video. Again, hopefully you're watching this video in the future if you're a new viewer uh, and listening and um, we're already in Japan hopefully. But right now I am just a few, maybe even just a few weeks out, but probably just a couple, another month and a half here. So hopefully, this is all speculation. The date isn't necessarily set, but uh, basically the next step, was, as I've mentioned before, is just to graduate. If you want to work in Japan, uh, one of the usual requirements for a work visa, or at least the one I'm doing, uh, I'll be applying for, e- I think it's a one year visa. Sometimes it's three. I think I'll only get a one at first and you just renew it is you have to have a bachelor's degree, uh, which was a major motivation for me. I was already going back to school, but it became like a big motivation to make sure I finish and stuff and maybe to do it in Japanese was that I need a degree in order to start working in Japan. So that was kind of step one. So that's when I was like, okay, well in the meantime, let's study abroad. Let's start a YouTube channel. I was able to kind of, you know, play around with my time and really make, take advantage of my uh, time before that job starts and it gets crazy. So now, I mean, uh, again, this is just a small hobby I do, but I'm kind of proud that we now have, if you haven't checked it out yet, I have a new website. It's mostly for resume purposes. If people don't know me and I say, hey, just check out my site. Uh, on mobile, it's still a little janky, unfortunately, but on desktop, I think it, it turned out pretty well. I had to learn how to do a little web, web design. So we have a new website. We got the Patreon. Um, I updated the channel, which took a little longer than I thought just because I animated it. I'm not the most uh, After Effects savvy guy, but I'm kind of picking it up and doing a little animation. I think it's fun. I love to go for humor and like little cute cartoony kind of style with any of my videos or animations I can do. I think it's fun. Uh, it took a while, but we got so we got that done as well. Uh, kind of rebranded the whole site with some new graphics and stuff like that. So I'm really stoked uh, that we, you know, had these couple months, although it took a long time to do it. We got it all set up and prepared like right before we're going to Japan. And then hopefully we can go start shooting some stuff and I can just start churning more videos out. And uh, uh, I'm really stoked. So yes, next step was to graduate, right? So even though I'm at the graduation ceremony, my parents, you know, I'm, they're like, you know, hey, like, you, you aren't you happy? And I, I, I was, I had a smile. And one, I was three hours of sleep because I was editing that video for, for the channel. Uh, but, but two, it was, um, I was just like, yeah, I'm stoked, but like, where's my diploma? Like, this isn't, this is just the stupid ceremony. I need, I need the actual diploma to send to the immigration office so that they can get this started. So, um, I called the school today, uh, because, uh, well, let me backtrack. I contacted my boss that will be my boss in Japan a couple weeks ago asking like, Hey, just making sure are, are the wheels in motion? Are we going here? Like, I uh, just wanted to check up. I'm graduating soon. Do you need me to send that as soon as I get it? He replied like, yes, please send it once you get it. Um, he said that uh, about a month and a half ago, he went to the immigration office and started processing it or started like he handed in all of the paperwork that we need to get started. The only thing that they're missing is the graduation. So are the, you know, the, the diploma. So he's like, yes, I've already turned it in, the, in, turned it into them. They have asked me for some additional documents on my end, and I already gave it to them. So once you graduate, let me know. Send me the diploma, and we will get it started. So um, he asked me again with a follow up email, like, hey, are you able to get it? You know, in the next few days. So I was getting a little nervous because I'm like, oh, I don't have my diploma yet. I don't know when the school's gonna get it for me. I had to pay extra money, believe it or not, to get my diploma within a week of graduating. Otherwise you have to wait about three to four weeks. So I'm really, really, really happy that I noticed that there's an option to pay extra. I would have paid if it was even like 300 bucks, I would have paid it, you kidding me? Just to get it, to get this process going. Uh, Luckily it was like 30 bucks. It was nothing like crazy, but still the fact that I had to pay like an extra 35 bucks, not to have them priority ship it, 
But instead of them shipping it, having them having me go pick it up at the school. So I have to go drive to the school and pick it up in person and pay money to do that, which sucks. But uh, just to get it that quickly, they have to do it. So I called today uh, while I was working with my dad. He owns a painting company. I may mention that. Any days that I'm not doing video stuff or have like any work where I'm getting paid, uh, there's the beep again. I have to, you know, I'm saving up for Japan. So my dad, he owns a painting company with my older brother. They paint houses in the summer, which... In the good weather, it's great. It's very hot, though, so if you're not painting inside, it can kind of suck. But um, I have, you know, kind of some steady work uh, just leading up to Japan to help save up, which is great. Um, I was there today, and during my lunch break, I called the school just because I was really nervous. You know, I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't know if I'm going to get it by the time my boss needs it. He gave me a specific date. He's like, can you do it by then? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I called, and luckily they said, actually, yeah, like, that. you know, I gave my name, and they're like, there's probably only so many people who ask for it early. So they're like, Eric Martin? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, Eric, your, your diploma should be here by noon tomorrow. We'll let you know. And I was like, oh, thank God. So, yes, that is the news. Tomorrow I'm getting the actual diploma. Let's get a, I don't know, is there like a, yay, hey, hey. Finally, fucking finally, I'm getting the diploma. It's been a long time in the making. I'm now 25 years old. A graduated 25 years old uh, fucking uh, guy. <laughs> uh, you know, ideally you'd want to graduate by the time you're 22, 23, but... Uh, with this day and age, when you're taking breaks and school's expensive, uh, I took a two-year break and came back and finished. And if I finish, you guys can too. But trust me, it was, it, it even going to like my public school in my state, it was, it was not cheap. So I'm gonna be paying back school for the next few years. Hopefully, finish it off in under five years if I can. Um, but yeah, it feels good. It feels good to be done, man. I'll be honest. It just one, just the money, but two, just. It's gonna be a weird feeling because even though I'm, I'm, I technically am graduated, I've seen my grades, my diploma is already on the way. So I know I've graduated. Just the fact that I haven't gotten my diploma yet or received it, it, there's something still, like I still, it's still not finalized yet. Like I think the second I have it and I send it to my boss, it's gonna really click in. Like, oh my gosh, you're done with school. Like, I mean, we may go to master's school or graduate school to get a master's in the future. Right now, that's not in my my plans and my intentions. We never know, though. And, you know, you can get a master's in just a couple years once you have your bachelor's. So maybe I'm, like, 30, and I'm like, hey, I have some time. I can maybe do it in the evening. You know, whatever. Um, but as far as I know right now, and at least to my, like, preference, I am done with school. And that's a really good feeling. I mean, I will be going to Japan to teach English in school, but that's different. You know, it's work. And it's not really, like, a school school. It's, like, a... Uh, almost like a tutoring center for English students slash like daycare and that we like play with the kids but we're not like you know changing diapers or anything like that luckily but um, I'm really excited for that obviously so the the sooner we can get this going the better uh, just get me to Japan already we have the channel ready to go I know you guys have been really patiently waiting and not everyone even likes listening to these podcast videos They're like where are the real videos why don't you spend that hour you do on that podcast editing well hey uh, <laughs> no I have no excuse I just I think these are fun I think it's a good way to give you guys kind of updates just on my life, uh, not that uh, that many people care, but I uh, I gotta say I, I mentioned that I paint um, recently. I'll tell you, um, I even though I'm kind of doing a little podcast right now, and when we get to Japan, it will be probably like more on a strict schedule, like doing it, you know, one week a podcast, one week a video, one week a live stream, one week a video. You know, hopefully we can get it like that. For now, it's a little random, but um, I never really was a big podcast like listener. I never really understood it. I didn't really, uh, it seemed just kind of like boring talk, like radio talk, but I'll tell you, once you have a job like painting a house where my brother is like, hey, my older brother who's like kind of my, you know, my boss, he's like, hey, like, can you go into that room and paint that wall for the next hour and a half? And I'm like, yeah, and there's no one around me. I got some, you know, my water or whatever, but I can put in some earbuds and just listen to a podcast. I mentioned uh, just the ones that I listen to. I like listening to, to comedians. Bill Burr is a great podcast if you don't know it. It's one of the biggest podcasts out there right next to the uh, Joe Rogan experience, another comedian, and he has the guests he has are just so cool. Like I was listening to one he had with Steve O today. He also has one with Bill Burr. Another cool one you guys may know is the H3 podcast. Anyways, just a lot of there's a lot of cool podcasts that are, and if you listen to them, it's just something like background music or background noise just to have, and it keeps it interesting and it makes my job, at, you know, doing painting, which is the most some of the most monotonous work there is. It's really boring. Uh, makes it makes it not so bad. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I can think about Japan, maybe listen to this guy. I, I think it's great. So I hope that if you guys are listening to my videos, know that, you know, this is kind of, these videos are a side thing to my channel, just kind of a supplement. Uh, and then the live Q&A is for the, the Patreon, which is some extra stuff and behind the scenes. Speaking of behind the scenes, I, I got to discuss uh, another video I'm shooting. But uh, again, today's podcast will be pretty short, probably as, although I'm like, you know, announcing uh, I graduated and getting things going with Japan, I really... 
I think it'll be more interesting once we're actually in Japan. And I'm like, oh, you won't believe what happened to me today on the train when I was right next to the Japanese 7-Eleven, next to the salary. You know, it's going to be a lot more interesting, and I'll have a lot more to talk about and maybe, like, mistakes I make and uh, uh, reflecting on that or maybe some advice. It, it, I can't wait. So I try to keep these ones in America short, uh, just give you guys a quick update. But, again, I hope you guys were however you're listening. If, I know I don't have that many uh, listeners, but if you're driving in your car or if you're at work or in your cubicle or doing something you don't really like or doing your laundry, uh, and this helps – Great, <laughs> because that's what podcasts do for me. Uh, oh, I was just making sure. I, I thought the video wasn't recording for a sec, so let's double check. And that's one of the worst things. If you start a podcast and 20 minutes in, it wasn't even going. So, um, But yeah, uh, this I guess another little update thing uh, this week uh, regarding some new equipment. I guess I could show you guys. Hang, hang tight. I'll throw on the little Jeopardy theme here. Check it out. All right. <laughs> I'm not trying to like brag here, but I'm just kind of showing like uh, the Erica broadcast as we are, we're kind of upgrading here. So this is my camera that I've had for uh, a few months now. We haven't shot too much stuff on it. Actually, I don't think we've posted anything on it yet besides a really, really old video I did a long time ago uh, with the cooking. It's a really old one, um, don't worry about it. But we shot on this one. This was a camera uh, a friend and I, uh, in that last video, Brett, him and I actually owned it together because we both went to film school. So we bought a camera that we could kind of share and use together on projects and stuff. Um, and recently, since I'm going to Japan, I asked him if I could just buy his half out. So I uh, paid him up, you know, to pay out his half and got the camera. And then just over this last weekend, we got a new microphone. So this is the Rode mic. I'm not like endorsing it. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's a really recommended mic for just, you know, having it on the go. It kind of makes it this on go. You know, before I was using, and I still will always use, I have my GoPro with a mic. So it's essentially the same thing. It's a little bit more relaxed with the GoPro because you don't have to worry about focusing and the lighting and stuff like that. This is a little bit more strict, but if you want the beauty shots and uh, some, uh, you know, time-lapse stuff of like nature, man, this is such an upgrade than a GoPro. GoPros are great for the discreet stuff or if I have to like, you know, comment on something I'm eating in a restaurant, I don't really want this big camera in my face. But when I can set up a little film shoot or maybe like an interview, this is the bomb. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Not to brag, but just to say I'm excited because uh, hopefully the quality of the videos will go up as Jeopardy. <laughs> as we actually got to utilize it earlier this week. Uh, I'll just give you guys a little hint preview on uh, a project. It's nothing like too secretive or anything, but a friend of mine who uh, is from Osaka and lives in Portland, he opened up a food cart, an authentic Japanese food cart in Portland. I'm just gonna plug it right now because uh, the video is all about it. It's called Zen Dako, Zen Dako. It's, I don't know what Zen actually means, like the kanji, but Dako is a, uh, Taco, which means uh, octopus in Japanese, believe it or not. It's not a taco taco. It's it's taco means T-A-K-O, taco. And when you add a word in front of it in Japanese, uh, T's become D's. So instead of taco, it's zendako, right? Makes a little, it rolls off the tongue easier. That's the name. Uh, we He opened up a food cart and it's really, and I'm, I know he's my friend and I, I love Osaka and I say this, really, this stuff is the bomb and I'm plugging it right now. If you live in Portland and you want to try some Osaka food, it is, if you don't know, it's called takoyaki is the dish. So the video is all about takoyaki. And uh, we, my friend, you know, he asked like, hey, could you make me a little video to help promote it? And I'm like, sure. And I thought maybe I, I asked since I was doing it for free. I just, he, he wanted to pay me, but I'm like, no, nah, you're good. I'll, I'll do it for free, but you have to let me do an Eric Abroad video uh, as payment. Like it just let me, like I'll, I'll record anything you want, but let me also do my thing and I'll promote your, you know, thing because it, it's, it's that good. It's really, really fucking good. Um, and it's a dish that is uh, famous in the Osaka, uh, that whole Kansai region. It's really famous, uh, specifically from that city. Uh, so from someone who's going to be moving there, and I lived there, and he is is an Osaka, you know, Osaka Jean. He's he is from Osaka. Um, he makes it really good. He actually like studied and like asked. Well, you know, he basically like perfected his recipe, and he's changed it even recently. And he's like, how do you think of a new one? And I'm like, dude, this is so good. I even cook it from home, honestly, from time to time. And in the future, I, I plan on hopefully making a video, or I, I will for sure, on how to make it from home because it is possible. It's a, it's a harder one because you need a specific grill um, that's made for it. But um, maybe it'll inspire you. Maybe you could use like a different kind of grill and do it. Um, anyways, uh, that will happen in the future. But I even made, I make it all the time at my house and it's nothing compared to this. This guy, he has like the industrial grill. Uh, he, he just has like a, a secret recipe for his batter. It's insane. If you don't know what it is, it's essentially like a, like a pancake batter. 
um, and inside you put a piece of octopus. So instead of getting like a sweet syrupy, sugary kind of thing like a pancake, it's more like a barbecue hot dog kind of thing. Like imagine like a, like a hot dog. Imagine like a corn dog or something, right? It's like that, but the middle is like this octopus, and you cover it in some Japanese mayonnaise, which is just a sweet, really tangy kind of flavor. And this, it's kind of like barbecue sauce, but it's a, called okonomi sauce in uh, it's Japanese for okonomiyaki, which is another dish. Uh, from Osaka but anyways he makes this stuff really good and I asked if I could make an Eric Abroad video so we we I went out with my friend Brett we took the camera I kind of actually storyboarded this one so I don't think it'll even take that long to edit once I get around to it I, I probably won't start until maybe next week because I have a I gotta finish that other video first and I have some other stuff I'm doing but um that will hopefully be up in within like the next three weeks or so from this video and um yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. Uh, the the microphone on it, it's supposed to be this great mic, so I'm like, oh, we're finally gonna have some good audio because I've ha I have some audio equipment, but not like a whole lot. So sometimes if I just, it, sometimes it sounds like a potato. And um, so I was stoked. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be the first one where I'm posting with this new camera. It's gonna be, have good audio. And we, we, you know, we recorded and it turned out pretty good, but uh, unfortunately the audio was a little hot, as in it was a little bit too high. It peaks a little bit, probably like this mic here. Sometimes I shout and it kind of peaks. Um, I think it peaked a little too much, but we're I when I get to actually editing it, I'm gonna see if I can like do any effects or any. Um, you can kind of mess with the sound levels and try to like make you know get some of this background noise out and things like that. Some of the sound mixing. Um, I'm gonna mess with that. If I can't do it, uh, we'll just have to do with what we have, or I could also just overdub. Anyways, it's gonna look really good. I think. I think the shots are gonna look great. We actually uh, trying to shoot a skit in the middle of a downtown if you don't know in, in portland i know like in new york they have like food carts and stuff but in portland food carts are kind of a big deal right now it's kind of this trendy thing where they'll ha we'll have blocks certain districts of portland that are marked off like basically only for food carts and it's just like a big square of like different you can get like lebanese food you can get halal food you, you know chinese food japanese food thai food all this stuff uh, korean fusion it's just crazy i'm sure a lot of cities have these kind of things but portland especially is really famous for them so my friend opening one we were making this video and we had to do like multiple takes of me like there's ones where i'm like cheering and shouting and yelling in japanese a little bit and we had to do multiple takes obviously because you mess up and uh, having people around it was it was fun but oh man it was you know i don't get that embarrassed doing video stuff but this one was a little bit i was like oh man <laughs> i can't wait till this is over but uh uh, I think it's gonna turn out great and we're gonna make a separate video for my friend as like an official kind of more professional like uh, Promotion piece that you can put on Facebook. So I'm excited to work on that as well um, Yeah, so having the new camera is really nice uh, having someone else to help film you obviously helps uh, So we'll see how it goes when we get to Japan, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of exciting I, I think it's gonna be a good video. So that's a little just a little background sneak preview and we actually we shot some behind the scenes so i will be posting that on patreon probably after i upload the video like hey here's some behind the scenes of what went down <laughs> there's this especially particularly sorry it's really hot this is the sweat uh my parents they have like ac upstairs but in my room they kind of don't i usually have a fan on but during the podcast i can't turn it on because it's just too loud <laughs> so i'm kind of sweaty here um so hence the hence the red but uh yeah um losing my train of thought but basically yeah shooting new videos uploading new videos uh the wheels are rolling the, the the wheels are in motion as they say uh for us getting to japan again uh let's see we're running about yeah this is about 35 30 minutes honestly as um as quick as that is and normally i let these podcasts run for about an hour well i'm breathing weird <coughs> that was weird normally uh i let this run for about an hour or so uh but again today i don't want to bore you guys too much with uh just a lot of like ranting or whatever um i just wanted to give you guys kind of an announcement on stuff that's happening this, this week as i'm excited and thank you guys again for checking out the new video we're gonna keep this one short uh as we get closer to japan and once we're in japan these will be a little bit juicier and although not everyone on the channel wants to listen to the podcasts uh i think they're just a good supplement uh to the times where i the downtime when i'm uh, in the middle of editing another video and i can kind of just you know engage with you guys i think it's a lot of fun so thank you guys for letting me do it Thank you again for letting me plug italki. Be sure to check them out in the link below if you're interested. And I promise I will be trying them out. It's not that, again, I, I've always said, like, if I get a sponsor, I, I want to make sure I know. But I know italki is great um, as uh, they do sponsor a lot of other channels, and I've heard really good things about them. And um, although I always I, I always personally endorse, like, people are like, how do you get, like, a language partner? I say, like, if you can find just a Japanese person to be your friend, even if it's just someone online and do it for free, maybe someone that's learning English and you can do it that way, I, I always encourage that rather than having to go to a tutor. But hey, you can't argue with a tutor. If you pay money and their job is to teach you English, 
um, you can't beat that. So just if you are interested, please check it out. And I apologize that I haven't tried it myself. Uh, maybe I can make a little video or a little plug once I do. But uh, yes, uh, check them out. Great. Thanks. I'm really thankful for having them as a sponsor. Again, thank you for the super supporters for supporting me on Patreon. You can check me out at patreon.com forward slash Eric Abroad. If you haven't checked out my website, which again, not everyone has to if you're all caught up, but if you haven't seen my videos, they're a little bit more organized. There's the beep, the final beep, hopefully, of the night. Uh, and I will be posting more kind of like blog updates on there. So that'll be cool too. I'll have like the podcast and on the website I can post like just some like stories or like, you know, I'm not much of a writer, but maybe I'll get into it a little bit. I can post on there. So check me out. That's at ericabroad.tv or don't check me out. That's totally fine as well. Be sure though, at the very least to subscribe, like, and comment down below. I appreciate any subscribers I can get. And my little small little following has been really supportive of me so far. And I thank, I can't thank you enough for your patience as I'm as impatient, if not more than you guys, I would believe in that I, I, I want to get not just the channel going, but this next step in my life um, and sharing it with you guys. And again, this is something we're going to be experiencing to together, something we will be experiencing together. Hopefully I can get my <laughs> speaking a little bit under control before we go and teach English abroad. Um, but again, I'm very excited to share all of it with you guys. And uh, I know there's a lot of people who out there who have dreams of going to Japan. And um, maybe if you ha if it's like a few years down the road, let me be the guinea pig. Let me be the guy who can go and, uh, you know, fall on his face and give you guys some advice. I hope it helps out or encourages you guys to go study abroad at least. So I thank you guys all for checking me out. And I will see you guys, I guess, in the next video. Hopefully it's part two of the Nico trip. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, please uh, go and do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time with another video about Japan. As they say in Osaka, Japan, normally in Togo they say Ja Mata. But we're kind of switching it up to the Osaka Ben, which is Osaka dialect. Until instead of ja, we're gonna say hona. So instead of ja mata, we go hona mata. See you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.